So this has happened. What is up guys? Ivysu here and in this video I'm gonna talk about my two month update into Shopify dropshipping. As you can see in the intro, my store went to $2,000 per day pretty quickly, like in less than two months, and then it went down to zero. So I wanna talk about the main mistakes that I've made, uh, so what has caused it and how you can avoid those mistakes as well. So the main reason my revenue has gone to zero is because my products start to die, to die out and also because I've experienced two PayPal limitations in the first two months of Shopify dropshipping. So those two limitations, uh, they, had re they have like really held me back because I, I had to deal with those issues. I couldn't scale. And also the second problem was that the products, like with dropshipping, products naturally die out. Some products you can sell for like two weeks, some maybe last one month and some a few months, right? But my products, uh, those were pretty good. Those were like five figure products, but like low five figure products. Uh, because as of now, I've done almost for like around 35K in the last two months. So yeah, like those products died out and also the limitation has really caused some issues. Um, I've talked previously about like the problems with accountant and VAT. So maybe I haven't really explained that before, but the thing is in the Czech Republic, once you hit 1 million Czech crowns in revenue, which is 45K, um, you have to register for VAT, like your company has to have VAT. And yeah, like when, when, when I realized that I'm gonna hit 45K, I started to panic. Like I didn't know if I should maybe like scale down my store if, or, or if I should continue because I wasn't very, I wasn't sure if I would pay uh, VAT for all the products that, that I sell to uh, European Union. Uh, but that has been solved now. I've talked to my tax advisor like several times and it's confirmed that in the Czech Republic, when you do drop shipping, uh, you don't have to pay VAT tax. So as products naturally die with tro Shopify drop shipping, um, you have to keep testing new products. But because I was experiencing like PayPal limitation, uh, like problems with accounting and VAT and stuff like that, I didn't have enough time to, to do more product research and to launch new products because those are pretty time consuming for me. Uh, like to launch one product, it takes me around one day. So I wasn't, I, I didn't have enough time to launch new products. So far I've launched four. So the first one was uh, like doing the worldwide and this product was a total fail. I lost like $600. Then there was two products um, which, which did pretty well, like five figures each. And then I did a, a fourth product. I tried out the scratch, the scratch map and I lost so much money. Like I lost $600 on the product. It was kind of stupid because I was so confident that I would be able to make it work. Uh, but the market told me that they're probably not interested. So that test didn't work. And the last mistake a lot of entrepreneurs make is they don't focus on their productivity, on their systems and routines. Um, I didn't have a morning routine, like I was all over the place. Like sometimes I would work all night, sometimes I would work, work maybe two hours. And it was very inconsistent because, because of my work hours being incons inconsistent, like sometimes I would work a lot, sometimes not at all. Of course, my business is not gonna be consistent. So what I urge you to do is create a morning routine, um, like a structure on how you're gonna work. Uh, maybe you can do like the 30 to um, 90 minute like work sprints. Uh, it's For example, it's like Pomodoro technique. Uh, it's where you work for 25 minutes and then you have a five minute break, right? And this, is, this will help you to focus and do one task. Uh, because I didn't focus on my productivity and on my systems, um, I, wasn't, I wasn't very productive. Like sure, I did a lot of work, but I could have spent the, the time, like my work hours more, effect, more effectively. So this is a big thing, guys, that I'm focusing right now. Um, this is the productivity, um, the systemization for everything, like for my day, for my work hours, and also for my business. I'm creating like VA templates for product research, um, for customer service, and I'm gonna outsource those to a VA which will save me more time and I can spend more time like producing videos for you guys. 
So since I've solved the PayPal limitation, I've solved the problems of accounting, I've got another debit card, I have two debit cards for dropshipping, um, I have also like systemized my VAs and everything and I'm gonna hire some VAs. Um, I think there's nothing holding me back now, like there's nothing. So I, I can just launch products and test. So yeah, my goal is to hit $8,000 per day um, in my third month of Shopify dropshipping, which is essentially going from zero to 8K per day, um, like within a, one, within a one month period. Also, the second goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers uh, on this channel. Uh, I wanna grow our family, so yeah guys, I'm gonna be posting more videos, more tutorials, because lately I've been doing a lot of like updates about my journey, so I wanna give more value to you guys so you can learn. So I'm gonna be posting more videos and I'm also gonna be way more active in my Facebook group, which is called Ecom Squad. Uh, I'm gonna give there like some spreadsheets and cheat sheets and a lot of stuff that are that is not gonna be available on this YouTube channel. So I highly urge you to go down, subscribe to my channel and also join my Facebook group where I will be dropping value bombs.